I'm very confident on a bike if it's got pedals and goes along slowly. This is the Sieta R. It doesn't have pedals and it goes quite fast. Even indoors. So I've shown pictures of this bike to a few mates and they're all going, God, it looks like something a stormtrooper ride, or it looks like it's from Red Dwarf, or it looks like it's out of Star, Star Wars. You know, it is the most extraordinary looking machine. How did it turn out like this? How did it turn out like this? <laughs> well, it's partly because it's a clean sheet of paper design. It's partly because we really wanted to do exceptional design. Um, the motorcycle industry has kind of gone stagnant aesthetically for many years. Um, and we, you know, London as a design centre, we effectively, right from the beginning, decided that it was going to be, it, it had to be an iconic design, it had to be something exceptional that people were attracted to and excited by. And really that's where the styling came from. We don't have exhaust pipes or air intakes for an engine. We don't have any of that uh, gubbins to sort of package. And it gave us this freedom to create something, you know, really unique. And have, have bikers, you know, like hardcore, because I always think of hardcore bikers yeah. as being a sort of peculiar branch of the petrol head yeah. fraternity. When we pass them, usually that, they're interested. <laughs> so then, then, then they get interested. They get interested. And usually, if you let them catch you up a couple of lights down the road, they're like, what is that? Right. Yeah. What engine's it got? Is it, you know, I'm riding a 750 with 150 horsepower. What's that? Yeah. So that sort of person who's really into the performance, let's say, who's really into the sort of hardcore, really gritty character of motorcycles, put them on it. As yeah. soon as they get on and they ride yeah, it, they're like, whoa, yeah. I want this. Because yeah. even the best petrol engines have got, you're waiting to mix air and all these little fuel particles that you've pumped in and atomized. And you're trying to get them all to mix. And then you're just going to squash them. And then you're going to wait for it to go bang, <laughs> yes. push around a crank. <laughs> all of that through a transmission system. Through a gearbox and everything. Yeah. Right. This, it's you and electrons. Right. And it, you know, that's quick. But that is interesting, though, that the, 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 the approach, often the approach with electric vehicles is that the, the fact that it's electric is advertised in the biggest yeah. way possible, and there's always leaves and plugs painted on the yeah. side of electric cars, which in I've green. always had. Yeah, in green. I have a little bit of a problem with that. But this doesn't say I'm yeah. electric at all. It says I'm a, I'm a terrifyingly powerful and fast <laughs> motorbike. <laughs> well, it, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's really interesting you say that. I, you know, on the road, it's, it's always a reaction of much more about the design of it. And, and the, the whole point was that we, we feel, right, it's time to move on from simply trying to say to people, um, here, wear a Hessian sack, it's good for the environment. Mm. <laughs> that doesn't work. Though we had, in the background, a drive towards what we'd see as you know, the reality that we, we have to move on with technology, that there's, there's Victorian plumbing here yes. that is of a similar ilk to petrol bikes. I, I quite like plumbing. plumbing. Yeah. Well, you've, <laughs> got, like plumbing. You've, got, you've got hot gases you've got to get rid of, yeah. which is nuts. I mean, you've got yeah. a highly carcinogenic, massively explosive liquid called petrol, <laughs> inches away from 900 to 1,000 degrees centigrade exhaust pipe. Yes. If you did that as an experiment in a lab, if a, if a teacher said oh. to kids, it'd be nuts. You couldn't do it in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you've got all of that to package, whereas we don't. So. You know, I mean, that's that's, that is, I mean all, it has been my argument all along. It's yeah. a very difficult one to get across, is that, that the technology is better. Yeah. You know, I don't mind about all the, you know, yes, what about the range? You know, and I can't help doing it in that voice because yeah. actually, it's essentially, that's mm, yeah. range. Because yeah. you know? actually, it's not about the range; it's, it's about, about the range. technology, which is, yeah. and it's so much more efficient. Yeah, as yeah. Well. Well, I mean, it, in, it, in its sort of end to end, you know, from the, where the energy comes from to how it moves yeah. you along. Yeah, it's a joke it's with a joke. petrol. Cool. So, I mean, can you give us a, the, a rough rundown, like the battery size, the, the, sure. the, the, all the things, the yeah. range, the range, <laughs> yeah. we quote the, engine, the engine size as well? I mean, sure. how, how, how we can equate that? Yeah, we quote 100 miles range plus a 12 mile. Reserve, but it really depends how you ride it. Uh, you can you, you can get more than that depending on if you ride it more gently. But that's what we quote. So it's it's a really solid distance. Even if you commute every day, 70 miles in and out, you can plug in and at work if you want to, or you've got a 50 mile round trip commute. It's immense. Yeah. Right. You know, it becomes a non-question as soon as people have been with the bike for a couple of days. And and the thing about it is the controllability. You know, you. you it, just after you've ridden electric and powerful electric, and you get petrol, and you bloody hell, I have to change down again. Yeah. yeah. Yes. What am I doing? Yeah. Why am I doing that? Yeah. yeah. And um, and it's it's completely different, you know. So immense performance, acceleration, mid-range torque, no gears, so incredibly smooth, um, and very very controllable. Um, Performance-wise, uh, is the thing that really really surprises people. Uh, it it has enormous torque uh, from from about you know, walking pace to sort of 70 odd miles an hour, it'll walk all over most bikes. Right. Not to 60 in, in under four seconds. So right. it's fast. And this is why I didn't have a go.